Hi, welcome to Crafts by Doty where we share weekly content on woodwork projects and home deco DIYs. On this week's video, we are sharing with you the process of how we made a twin size bulldozer bed, which is a cool item to transition your little ones from a baby coat to a big kid bed. For this project, we did use 2 by 2 one and a quarter inch pieces of wood, 3 sheets of 9 ply and 1 sheet of MDF board. On the table saw, we ripped the 6 by 1s into one and a quarter inch pieces of wood. Then planed the top surfaces to smooth out the rough edges. On the meter saw, so we trimmed all the pieces into the required size. In creating our bulldozer bed, we started by making the side rails. We did this by attaching the rails using wood glue and 2 inch nails. On the meter so we did cut half lap joints which will help us attach the front leg support and the back projective cab support. We created the back support at an angle of 10 degrees then used a hand saw with the chisel. You can use a meter saw instead. Afterwards we attached the back stand and used a square to help us attach the front and back posters which would be used to hold the removable projective cab. We then attached the other frame and repeated the process. For the second frame we did use the meter saw at an angle of 10 degrees and all the half lap joints fitted perfectly. We used a router to create mortises on the two long posters. We then applied a generous amount of glue and reinforced with nails to hold all the pieces together. For the cap support we clamped all the pieces together and attached them with 1 inch nails.
We then applied glue and used 1 inch nails to attach the plywood to the frame. We used the same procedure in making the headboard and footboard. Once we had our nuts and bolts set, we attached the inner plywood using wood glue and nails. For our second sheet of 9 ply, we used both a circular and table saw to rip it down. We then attached the four pieces of pallet wood to create a frame on which we placed the plywood to create a removable projective curb. Next we attach the side guards which had a 10 degree angle slant. Using a jigsaw, we cut out two track adjusters and enforced them with 2 by one pieces all round to give a firm support. We also did cut four pieces of 2 by 2 which we glued and nailed together to attach the two track adjusters. To create our tracks chain, we took several pieces of pallet wood, blend them and attach them on the track adjuster. We 
For the entire process we used wood glue and nails, spacing each piece at a quarter inch distance. For the mold blade, we divided the MDF sheet into 30 cm stripes. We then attached the two sides together, then cut the edges at an angle of 10 degrees. Afterwards we applied glue and used 2 inch nails in attaching the pieces together. For the back part we attached quarter inch plywood using 1 inch nails. On the front part we created a curve shape using a jigsaw. We did mark and cut out the front, back, idler, top and bottom rollers from a single sheet of plywood. To create the bottom rollers, we used a paint can to trace out the curves. We then used a jigsaw to cut them out. For the back part of our rollers, we did cut a piece of plywood 3 inch wide in size.
also created a push frame in a C shape. Once we were done with all the parts of our bulldozer bed, we applied filler to all spaces and used a sander to smooth down everything. We then applied two coats of grey undercoat on the entire bed. After the undercoat, we went in with yellow and grey paint on the shown areas. For the posters holding the removable projective cap, we did black paint. For the exhaust pipe, we used an elbow pipe and painted it black. After several coats of painting, we attached the rollers using 2 inch screws. To finish our project we attached the beddings and reflector lights and the bulldozer bed was done. We were so impressed with the turnout. This bed can be a perfect item in helping you create a construction themed bedroom for your little one. Let us know at the comment section below on whether you would consider this twin size bulldozer bed for your child. We hope you enjoyed the process and took some woodwork skills with you. If you did, please support this video by giving it a thumbs up. Also turn on the notification bell to ensure you get our videos each time we post. Thanks for clicking into Crafts by Doty. We'll see you in our next one.